I'm sometimes asked, how do I teach children who have dyslexia differently from other children? And the answer is, don't teach them differently. Good reading instruction is good reading instruction. The difference is that if a student has dyslexia or another learning disability that affects reading, a real one, they need more practice at every stage. They will master things much more slowly than those who don't have the glitch in their brain. They can learn, must master it, and I have to be even more careful to isolate the skills and that they need and not to quit too quickly because they get tired of the practice, I get tired of the practice, and if we don't practice to mastery, we'll be right back there practicing it because every single foundational skill has to be strong. So my answer to, these, to the people is, if someone's truly diagnosed with dyslexia, I just expect to have more practice than if someone is just an instructional casualty. I don't really know. I can't, I'm not, I don't diagnose with dyslexia. But when I know, I know whether someone has a learning disability or someone is an instructional casualty by how quickly they respond to the instruction.